Hi friends, my name is Anshuman Punj and I am CEO of Supervac Industries. Supervac Industries is a leading manufacturer of vacuum pump oils and supplies them throughout the world. I am a mechanical engineer by qualification. Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic about, about the boiling temperature of diffusion pump oils. Why it is so important uh, and all. Before we understand about boiling temperature of diffusion pump oils, let us take a look at diffusion pump itself. This is a cross section of a diffusion pump. The oil gets heated over here with heaters, moves up the vertical column and in the meantime it gets released from jets. Since the oil is carrying a lot of energy, it comes out with a great velocity. Sometimes even the speed of the oil is even above 1 mag. It comes and strikes the cold walls which are water cooled walls of diffusion pump and liquefies once again. As it is coming out at a great velocity, it hits the air molecules and traps them and releases them somewhere here where it gets released, where it gets liquefied. So basically in a diffusion pump we have a, a pressure gradient. The pr vacuum over here will be 10 to the power minus 8 torr or even above, above and the vacuum over at this point will be somewhere about 10 to the power minus 1 torr. Over here a rotary pump oil comes in handy and pulls these uh, what air molecules that have been released by the oil. This is how our diffusion pump works. As you can see the oil is the only working medium. There are no other uh, moving parts in the diffusion pump. Now the boiling temperature of diffusion pump oil assumes extreme significance. In fact it is the specification of a diffusion pump oil. If we have a boil, what, now what decides this boiling temperature? If we choose an oil with a very low boiling temperature, we will have an advantage that we will be able to heat it very quickly. But at the same time, since the boiling temperature will be very, very low, so it won't be able to carry enough energy and to complete the action. Similarly, if we use, choose an oil with a very high boiling temperature, we will get a very good vacuum, but at the same time, we will require enormous amount of energy in heating the oil and the cost of the oil will go up very, very much because if the oil has to withstand such a high temperature and under very adverse conditions of extremely high vacuum. So this kind of a trade-off is struck in between this, some kind of a balancing act. All over the world, the studies have been done and engineers have now finally arrived at a conclusion that the boiling temperature of diffusion pump for normal application is somewhere about 220 degrees centigrade. As you can see over here in this temperature, in this uh, uh, table, the boiling temperature of 220 degrees centigrade gives us a vacuum of around 10 to the power minus 7 torr, which is more than sufficient for most of the applications that uh, take place in the industry. However, if we require a vacuum even above this, like for research purpose, then we could always go for a temp uh, oil with higher boiling temperature, say about 255 degrees centigrade, super vacuum manufacturers SV Sigma Plus, which meets this criteria. Or sometimes the vacuum time is extremely important. Vacuum level is not that important. So we go for a oil with even lower boiling temperature of 180 degrees centigrade, this gives a vacuum of around minus 6 torr, but that doesn't matter because we are getting the vacuum very, very fast. So, a vacuum word over vacuum oils are this diffusion pump oils are manufactured with boiling temperature, these three boiling temperatures. This understanding of the boiling temperature gives us another advantage. Suppose manufacturer is charging you very high for a diffusion pump oil, or the diffusion pump oil menu recommended by the manufacturer is not available in your country or region, you can always choose an equivalent of that diffusion pump oil based on the boiling temperature of uh, the oil being recommended to you. For example, if you are using any of these oils, DC704, CVC4, Hivac F4, Ulvac, Ulvoil D31 or Indometra, you could use SV Sigma manufactured by Supervac uh, Industries, which comes at a fraction of cost. Similarly, if you are using a DC704 or Hivac F5, you could use SV Sigma Plus. Or if you are using DC702, you could use SV Sigma Fast. These oils will give all the same working parameters, vacuum level, working life, vacuum, everything. But they will be cheap, so it's somewhat cheaper. If you want to know more about diffusion pump oils or about diffusion pumps, please visit our blog spot. Thank you so much.